hello guys welcome back so i watched a, a very interesting movie on netflix it's a malayalam movie it's called tallu mala so now i i don't know what that means in malayalam uh, what i just googled let me see so it's directed by mr khalid rahman i am not seen any other movie of uh, khalid rahman so talmala actually translates to chain of fights and uh, so <laughs> i watched it in malayalam uh, i believe day before yesterday and i i liked it although i found it a, uh, a bit long uh, they could have reduced at least a couple of songs maybe it w- it would have been the right length you know it, it was a bit too long 20 25 minutes a bit too long uh, but apart from that i found like it it's an interesting movie i wouldn't say it's a, it's a very good movie or there's something uh, very interesting or it's like uh, you know as good as maybe angamali diaries or anything like that yeah. N- nevertheless it's like a very interesting movie a very interesting screenplay specifically um so i watched it in malayalam i i didn't completely understand it because it's it's a lot of work you know switching between reading the subtitles and then like oh, the screen seeing what they who's saying what and that sort of uh, like i'm i'm i think if i continue to watch uh, uh, malayalam movies for some more time i probably get fluent in that language because i am already starting to understand a little bit because i'm a tamil so it's not that difficult to pick up malayalam but i'm new to mm, watching malayalam movies so i think i'll i i need i need some more getting used to uh, to be able to understand uh, the language without reading the subtitles so i had to watch it again because it, it, it there's a lot of back and forth in the movie in this the screenplay is such that you know there's a lot of like it's like a non linear kind of a screenplay so and 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 like it it's difficult to to figure out whether it's happening in the present or it's happened already in the past and there's a lot of it, it's it's kind of confusing and uh, if you're familiar with the actors you would be able to see small small changes uh, um you know uh, to understand where it's happening you know like uh, the beard full beard shave and like it took me a bit of time to kind of understand like I, like when i watched it second time in tamil i i understood it completely um so yeah so i'll 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 just note down a few points as i usually do uh, i'll go through one by one so the first thing is like a very it's a brilliant screenplay it's like it's like reading uh, some kind of comics you know in the in the, in the 90s and in the in the 90s i think there used to be this uh, comics in in tamil nadu in chennai tamil nadu they which it's called a rani comics where it's basically tamil translation of these these phantom uh, kind of stories mugamudi uh, virar mayavi and all that kind of stuff it's literally like watching like like watch like watching like a comic in a, in a movie format it uh, it's it's very interesting uh, it's it, it's it, it it's very trendy as well and and it, uh, lots of millennial uh, kind of uh, stuff it, the, the screenplay is it's very interesting i don't know what else to say it's it's difficult to explain you have to watch it to understand what i mean uh so that's one thing i found it very um uh, like one one aspect of of the movie is like that that the screenplay uh the way in which they shot like it, the whole thing is is beautiful it's interesting it's very colorful and what not and and again there's there's many references to tamil movies again in this movie as well i don't know how often this happens in malayalam movies but this is um, like i've i watched very few malayalam movies if you watched my previous videos i've mentioned the same 
there were lots of tamil movie references in angamali diaries as well and i uh, noticed that in this movie as well like uh, vikram veda running in the movie theater and uh, i believe the tomino the, the hero's dad pointing out ajit's uh, like uh, his his uh, you know salt and pepper look is kind of like uh, tala ajay tam but i'm not sure if it was in the malayalam version as well or maybe it was just in the tamil version i'm not sure i think it was there in the malayalam version as well he mentions like tala ajay something and and then the hero's dad is going to chennai again i mean there's lots of uh, like chennai tamil movie references uh, that i found it a bit interesting because like three or two out of three movies that i watched they have these uh, this this number movie references i'm not sure if they are paying homage to the movies or whatever it's a good thing it's like a friendly like uh, acknowledging uh, each other it's it's always a good thing so i like that and it's not a very realistic realistic movie so that is uh, another thing so i people for some reason all the the the, the hero and his friends they all kind of sport like the they, they they all look like they they are a cross between uh, yogi b and uh, yo yo hani singh you know what i mean like all hip hop and uh, hip hop like hip hop caps and the, like baseball caps i mean and, uh, and the shoes like high tops and like yeah that that was a bit odd i don't know like uh, m- maybe they were trying to show that, like the kids are like like well to do i mean the kids as in the the the, the hero and his friends they are like uh, from a well to do families i believe because they all the hero goes to dubai back and forth many times same with the heroine as well so it's not like a like a, like a the setup is not like a from a poor family or is the story is not about like um, uh, you know uh, youngsters from poor families basically they they are at, at least upper middle class from what i like i would say upper middle class so i don't know maybe that's how they dress or 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 maybe they they the director wasn't even trying to portray uh, like trying to make a realistic movie i don't know it's it's not about realism in this this movie is like is a bit uh, is a bit quirky that's that's the only way that keeps coming uh, in my mind it's 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 not it's not very often that we get to watch such movies it's an interesting movie realism definitely not one of the like not 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 the idea uh, on the, on the director's mind i would say it's a, it's it's actually a bit too stylish uh, to be honest for example there are scenes where um, i see the roads are completely deserted no one else is there except for the characters in the movie like uh, there are two scenes i can recall okay so before i go any further i'm going to be talking about a lot of spoilers <laughs> i always mention this but i forgot to mention this in this video so if you're not watched the movie maybe stop watching it and may watch 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 come back to the video after you finish watching the movie i uh, like uh, yeah so two two scenes i can that i i i can think of where uh, not like of the top of my head there there's the scene where the hero and heroine like uh, goes on a bicycle race <laughs> I do I do I couldn't see any other soul in in, in that scene except for these two. And there's another scene where uh, Hero and his dad uh, they go for a walk, they they go back to their uh, home like uh, in that scene I couldn't see anyone else apart from these two characters in the uh, in the street. So it's it's not very realistic as what I'm trying to say. It's I don't know what what the director had in his mind. But these these kind of scenes kind of bothered me a, bit, a little bit uh not bothered me as in like uh, i uh, i i uh, like uh, i i i paid attention to to those scenes for whatever reason i yeah something that i observed while watching the movie is what i'm trying to say and um, hero tomino thomas i this is the second movie that i'm uh, watching of him i think the first movie was uh, minnal murli i like that movie as well it's like more of a like an indian uh, version of a superhero movie and 
and he's he's a good actor i um, genuinely he's a, he's a very good actor i like in all the scenes i i never even once felt like as as if he was acting you know like all the characters in the movie not just him all the supporting characters his friends and everybody there's some very good acting to be honest the uh, now that i think about it where they were all wonderful yeah very nice acting from everybody in the movie and uh, yeah he's a, he's a very um, um, handsome guy as well i i don't have any uh, favorite actors from uh, the malayalam movie industry apart from uh, fahad fasil because i've seen uh, a couple of movies by him and he has acted in tamil as well so i'm familiar with him so apart from fahad fasil i um, prithviraj is a, is another person that i that i know but i'm not a big fan of him for some reason i don't know though he is also a good looking guy uh, tomino thomas is, is is very trendy looking in this movie is like he's a, looks like a millennial you know the way he dresses and what not he's a he's a handsome guy so i'm sure he has a lot of uh, female fans in uh, in kerala so yeah he's a he's a good actor as well and uh, i think he is going to he's going to be a big star in the um, if if he's not already a big star he's definitely going to be a huge star in the in the future heroine so she has uh, she she her role is like uh, that of a what do you call that like a viral uh, instagram viral sensation or something like of that sort and she is done her role convincingly as well but she has she, she seems to have this kind of secret admiration secret all, almost kind of a fetish for this for the for the for the hero robin thomas in the movie uh the way she admires him fighting you know one of those um, uh feminine uh, traits where you kind of admire ultra macho you know ultra masculine uh, uber uber macho kind of a uh, uh, masculine trait you kind of like you get drawn to that she she just secretly uh, you know munches on popcorn and then uh, admires whenever he jumps into a fight and that's, <laughs> that's what she does and uh, yeah that that's something interesting uh, that i that, that i noticed about 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 the female character <laughs> there's another thing apart from her there's no other noteworthy uh, female characters in the movie and and this is something that i've been noticing in in all most of the in in almost all of the malayalam movies that i've been watching so they heroes for some the, the male characters for some reason have this um have this um what do you call that uh longing to 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 go uh, on a one to one fist fight with with uh, some guy this i've noticed in movies like uh, ayappuram koshiyam they always uh, you know have this cold war at the end of the movie they Uh, they like go like one on one like and even angamali there is the, the 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 protagonist keep asking like what are what are what are pop now what are come on and in this movie as well uh, for some reason the the there's there's this inspector fellow who him and um, our hero tobino thomas they all they get in a one on one fight now not just on one or two three uh, occasions i believe so what exactly is this thing with 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 mallu heroes and then uh, one on one uh, no fist fights i, I don't understand it's a, it's an interesting thing that i very interesting pattern that i've been seeing so i just wanted to point out and again whenever i i i notice that there's other there's something else that i notice like no other female characters like there there's not many um strong female characters in such a male oriented movies as well whatever characters there are the the female characters they are like either loving mothers or just like you know lovable characters who who are helpless with these uh, with these guys having uh, you know constantly fighting all the time for for some petty issue or something like that it's always uh, like this it's either um, 
uh, there's something interesting that i that i noticed like this is a pattern that i've been seeing i'm, I'm not sure if it's like if it's like a cultural thing within the malayalam um uh, within kerala or within the malayalam culture uh but yeah if if you if, if, if 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 my understanding is wrong please uh, leave a comment i i would love to know and understand what exactly is this uh, that i'm missing and 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 uh, what else uh, i think i've covered uh, most of the things that i wanted to say last but not least i'm 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 like i'm i'm starting to admire malayalam movies for this one particular reason more than anything else like coming from a tamil movie fan coming from uh, someone who oh, someone who's a tamil tamil movies he, we have not uh, come to terms with uh, you know having characters having uh, um um you know muslim characters or christian characters play lead roles in the movie although this is this is changing slowly like for example uh, say simbu has played a, a male protagonist uh, muslim protagonist in the movie manada but it, it it it's about time uh, uh, somebody did something like that in the tamil movie industry and uh, thankfully simbu has started that but i i have noticed that this is this has been i don't know how long this has been happening in the malayalam film industry i always see this always like say for angamali there is uh, there is a christian uh, protagonist and in this movie uh, the character name is wasim is a muslim protagonist played by a christian actor tovino thomas who in the movie has a mix of friends who who belong to all religious backgrounds uh, they don't discriminate in 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 the movie even in in uh, in in this movie there's two different parties right the hero side and there's uh, the inspector side there's another guy and they all have mix uh, they, they are they are not like religious they they split on religious basis or anything like that his group has a mix of friends christians and uh, hindus and uh, what not his his group the hero's group has a mix of friends and not not even once they even think about um religion when it comes to uh you know having a when it comes to confronting each other or uh, they don't even think in such a way I, which i i think could be uh, the reason could be because of the, the the very secular nature of the 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 secular landscape of kerala itself because it's it's, it's a very very mixed uh, even more mixed than tamil nadu i believe and that is a beautiful thing i i think more indians should watch uh, more malu movies uh, in order to be able to understand what exactly like how to live uh, in harmony it's, it's about culture religion is 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 we are we all belong to the religion just by birth we don't choose it but culturally we are all tamils we are all malus we are all indians right so i and and that's what i see like In, even in these movies they sing together they celebrate weddings together there's nothing like uh, they don't look at each other differently based on religion at the end of the day we all uh, belong to the same culture uh, i believe um and the, the onam is one beautiful example onam is celebrated by it's a cultural festival right it it uh, just like even in tamil nadu we have something called as pongal it's a cultural festival it's not a religious festival so everybody celebrates uh, pongal uh, mostly it's done in the villages but irrespective of religion everybody celebrates uh, pongal at least that's what i believe and same with onam like the so we have onam i, I think uh, belated onam wishes to my malu friends who are watching so i have this malu friend uh, in my office so there's some uh, even happening tomorrow for onam onam i think it ended last week itself but for some reason they are doing this event uh, tomorrow and uh, he, the, the, my friend is a christian uh, he he is going to that festival and they, he has invited us i'm going i'm going mainly for the food by the way onam sadia <laughs> i love onam sadia and we have also invited another muslim friend of us who is a bangladeshi who is also going to be joining us 
so it's a, it's a beautiful thing it brings people together that's that's what festivals are for right it, you need uh, what good is a f- festival if it doesn't bring people together right yeah that's that's something i wanted to point out as well and uh, my respect for malayalam movies is slowly increasing uh, um, like uh, like movie after movie and i hope like they make mm, they keep making so interesting movies in malayalam and uh, thanks for the um, yeah thanks thanks uh, thank you guys for watching this video i'm signing off for now see you in the next video bye bye